Alrighty guys, I got a video. I'm fighting the sun here. So let's get going before the sun goes down. Alrighty guys, so I'm here. Um, as you can tell, I should have brought my different lens. Anyways, I'm fighting the sun. It's going down. It's about to go down behind the mountains. So I just got off work, but I wanted to do an update kind of on the channel and uh, what's going to be going on as far as me for 2020. And I wanted to show off some of this new, whoops, this new kit that I got for I've been announcing it for a couple months now. I posted it last night on Instagram, or yesterday on Instagram, which when this video goes up, it would be about a week ago. Um, so yeah, I posted about my new 2020 hot tent backpacking setup. So it's all right here on the tailgate. These are just the main essential items. This isn't everything, of course, but these are the things that I've been waiting for, the things that I've been talking about, and a couple previous videos um, and it's something really uh, that I really got into thanks to Devin from Backcountry Exposure. Um, I'm gonna link up here in the cards an awesome camp out where I went on with Devin and I backpacked into the Uinas and it was actually a bail for me but he brought his hot tent set up and I was hooked instantly. I went home and I was just researching everything I could to try and figure out you know a budget option to get into hot tanning um, that wasn't gonna be you know crappy or a lot of DIY now I do a lot of DIY I'm quote unquote a craftsman if you will I like building things I like doing things by hand um, I'm not afraid to do stuff like I lifted my truck by myself like DIY isn't you know scary for me but I just didn't want to deal with it because I was in school and the holidays are coming up so I just kind of wanted to just do it right and you know get the best quality products that I could. Before the sun completely goes down on us here, let's go over some of the gear on the truck bed. Here it is in all of its glory. Not a lot, but some big things pertaining to hot tinning. So the first, the most important thing is right here. This is the seek outside It'll focus. Anyways, so this is the seek outside the medium stove. So this has got the, the pipe, the exhaust pipe, or whatever, the vent. Um, it's got the whole stove. Everything is in this awesome little package. So that is the main thing. This is what I wanted to spend a good amount of money on, get something good. This is titanium. I think it comes in around two pounds. Um, and the size of the stove will keep this tent. The This is the Black Orca or the One Tigress Smoky Hut. And this is just a sill nylon uh, teepee style tent. Um, it's about 10 feet round and it is a great budget option if you're looking into getting into like hot tenting. Uh, it's, I picked this up on Black Friday for I want to say like 117 and it's regularly like 150. So that is a great option there. All right, I also got an ax. Now this ax right here is the Husqvarna 20 inch uh, small forestry ax. 
Now, I didn't go with a Grand Force Brooks because I was trying to stay budget to prove that you don't need the best in order to do this. You know, that's kind of my mantra on the channel. You don't need the best to go out. And this is about a $60 axe. Um, I have a different sheath that my grandfather made for me. Yeah, it's amazing. It's awesome. But this is the one that came on it just for sake of showing it. This is, you know, I did this myself. It's kind of coming off actually. I may take that off, but anyways. So this is the 20 inch axe to put wood in the stove. All right, so for a sleeping pad, I did the Nemo Switchback. Now this is gonna go in tandem with my Nemo Tensor. This is just to go under and to do, you know, give me some, you know, insulation between the ground, just to beef it up. I mean, it weighs like not even a pound. I don't know how many ounces off the top of my head. I think it's like 10 ounces if that. So I decided to get this just to stay warm. This is about $30. I wanted to go something different besides Thermarest and this is the short version. So this will just be like just an extra layer, but that's an important part of the setup. And last but not least is the Gregory Baltoro 65. Now this is used, but I swear I mean, that right there, if you can see that. Sorry, my camera is having a really hard time right now. Anyways, there's like a little dot right there. That is the only like imperfection on this whole thing. I bought this off eBay for about $100. No, excuse me, $160. They retail for about $350 brand new. And uh, according to the description, this guy used it once, and I believe it. Um, I was going to go with another Osprey, uh, let's flip this over, but I found a couple, but I was late on one and they were a little bit more expensive and I've always liked Gregory and I've always wanted to try them. So I figured like a backpack that's only going to get used for part of the season, like why not try this? So this is a Gregory Baltoro 65 and this thing is awesome. I have just played with it just a bit and, uh, it's amazing so that is all that so yeah that is all of the major components to my hot tending setup so what's going to be new for wasatch back explorer um there's going to be a few things and there's one major change that i'm making to the channel um one of my new year's resolutions for the channel is to upload more consistently. It's proven that you know you can get better views and get more followers and reach more people if you upload consistently. And I'm fully aware of that. I haven't been the best. This summer was the best I've ever been with about one a week with like, I think there was like a couple weeks I missed, but that's like the best I've ever done. Um, 2019 was great for the YouTube channel and it has been awesome, I've loved it. Um, so what I'm going to do starting today, not with this video, with another one, I had another, anyways, starting today from here on out, I'm going to be doing more of a vlogging type setup and not like the conventional like travel vlogs like every day. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm doing. I'm going to vlog whenever I am doing something pertaining to like the outdoors, meaning if I am going to buy a new piece of equipment, I'll vlog that. If I am, you know, doing a DIY project, like I have to, I'm gonna have to build something for this tent and I'll, you know, record that and, you know, kind of do that. Um, if I am going on like a day hike, that'll be more of like a vlog style. And the reason I wanna do that is if, any of you know of Casey Neistat, he's a huge YouTuber. He's like 10 million subscribers, like big, big, big YouTuber. Um, when he started vlogging is when I started following him. And when he posted his video, the reason he wanted to vlog was to create more. That plain and simple, he just wanted to create videos that could, you know, inspire more people and, you know, get his creative juices flowing and get him to be a better YouTuber. And that's what I want for me. It's not gonna be every week, it might be once a month. Um, 
it, it all depends. But I want to upload twice a month and do one vlog and then do one kind of more formal video kind of like this right here. Um, and so that's what I want to do for the YouTube channel. That's what will be coming is I will be doing more of a vlog style and I won't try and, you know, mimic like these big vloggers and say I have like an interesting life. Like I like my life. It's good. But that's not what my channel is about. And I will kind of share some things um, in these vlogs kind of about my personal life and stuff like that. But it'll be mostly if I'm doing stuff pertaining to the channel, outdoors, buying gear, going cool places that might involve like backpacking, outdoor gear, anything like that. That's what will be coming. Um, for example, I'm going to be purchasing a new handgun soon. That I'll kind of go through that and kind of make like a vlog style of that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going to be happening as far as the vlogs go. But I'll still be producing kind of these same videos, these review, these um, updates, you know, kind of the more formal trip videos and stuff like that. So nothing's going to be interrupted. I'm just adding on to try and push myself and trying to create, you know, a better creator in me. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, there's a couple other goals that I have for the channel. Um, that I'm kind of toying with, but right now the two uploads a month and, you know, vlogging, that's kind of my goal. Um, and the reason I don't do once a week is just because I have, I'm starting school tomorrow, which will be Tuesday when I upload this. So I'm uploading this Friday or Saturday. So it'll be this past Tuesday. I'm starting school again. So just one a week is like really hard. I just want to do this goal and see if I can do it later in the year if I can you know feel like I can do more I'll do more so that's that um, and then just hot tanning is coming to the channel I'm going on a hot tanning trip soon I have one more thing to do with the tent and then I'll be going all right I think that's about everything vlogging new hot tent setup so yeah I hope you guys are having a great you know week a great day great beginning start of 2020 it's going to be awesome i'm so grateful for you guys all of you subscribers that follow me support me on this channel um you don't know how much this has kind of changed my life kind of being able to do this it's been really awesome for me to be able to interact with all you guys and to all the friends that i made here locally you guys are the bomb absolutely love you guys um so we will catch you guys in the next video like i said every every other week, every month. So stay tuned for that.